know how Dollar Silver does it, but he does it. I'm an hour late, and the man's still the first one in here. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Man, I'm thirsty. Woo! I just got back from grabbing a little bite to eat. Um, I went to the park earlier. I messed up, y'all. I messed up. Just, I'm late when I'm supposed to have been early. We were supposed to actually do this thing earlier today. I mean, I, I'm literally supposed to be ending this live stream right now and going and hanging out with some friends because I was, I was supposed to start this thing at 8 p.m. and it's currently 10 p.m. I bet my friends don't I bet my friends think I don't like them very much because I'm choosing you guys over them. They're going to this place called Main Event. It's a bunch of stuff to do. They got laser gun. They got arcade games. They probably got some pool. They do got pool. They got bowling. All kind of, I think they got go-karts too. Man. No wonder I don't have a life. I just I be here all the time. I, I, you know what? I thought about it. When I was coming back from getting food, I was like, what's, what's the only thing, what is the only thing that I would actually not do a Friday night live stream for? What would I substitute for my viewers? That box, that's probably the only thing that's. Yeah, that's the only thing. I'm sorry. Um, if it ain't if it ain't a box, if it ain't a box, then I'm here. I look. That's that's about it. What up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy Artie Kick said just like that. We back with another one. All right, y'all. So I'm tired. Look, I was at the skate park. In the skate park. No, I was at the park. Just a regular park. It's a big park. I was riding my skates, my new rollerblades that I just got today from Amazon, which are amazing. They feel insanely comfortable. The best roller skates, rollerblades I've ever felt in my life. But one issue, the wheels are insanely too soft. I mean, I almost ate them up today. Literally, if you look at my Instagram story, it's those wheels are trash. But man, I had so much fun. I felt like a kid again. I was literally in that park skating for three hours, screwed up my entire day. Now I'm extremely exhausted and I can't go hang out with my friends because I was supposed to do this live stream early. We're supposed to be ending it right now, but we're starting it. We're starting it instead. Whoa, we got 600 people in here. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? What's going on? You should go. One video and go. Nah, I'm not going to make it. Even if I don't do a video, I'm, I stayed at the park too long. I stayed at that park way too long. It was supposed to be an hour, hour and a half top. I stayed there for three hours. Now I'm exhausted. I'm not going regardless. <laughs> I am not going regardless. I already told uh, my, my, my friend, my buddy, when he called me, he's like, hey, you coming? I'm like, no, I'm too tired. I'm way too tired. I got to make myself do this live stream, and all I got to do is sit here and talk. I'm too tired to do that. I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm not even sleepy. I'm just... You know, you ever done something or worked so hard that you, you're just exhausted? Like, ugh, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't talk to me. Don't call me. Don't do nothing. Just leave me the heck alone. That's how I feel. I just want to collapse somewhere and watch some television. But no, instead, I'm going to sit here and entertain all 721 people. Hopefully, we get up to 4,000, but I doubt it. Anyway, it's Friday. And I got on some new merch. Big brain energy caps are here, baby. Y'all been asking for them. They're here. Y'all been asking for me to bring back the Karen shirts with a new design. That's here as well. I'm wearing one of the tank tops right, right now. The, um, what is this? Tie-dye. Look, my brain is shutting down. Tie-dye. It got green in this too, but you can't see the green because... Of uh, the chroma key and the green screen. Look, actually, you see you see those words that just popped up on the screen. Actually, you see them on my chest right now. Where you see words on the screen or whatever, that's where the green is. So this ain't brown or gray like it looks right now. It's actually green. It's actually green and it looks really dope. But you can check it out on the website artikicks.com. I will be shouting you guys out at the end of the live stream. 
But we got a good amount of people in here, so we're about to get this party started as soon as I do these little shout outs. We got some donators in here. Thank you guys. I see you. So, oh, wait, hold on. Who's this? Jess. I see you in here, girl. What's going on with you? Um, What's this, Miss Quinky? Shout out to you. How's it going? It's going well. I'm tired. But it's going well nonetheless. Brent. Brent Stewart. Thank you, brother. I appreciate the $10 donation. Stephanie, we in here. My first live stream of yours. I'm psyched. Welcome. You're in here. You made it, baby. Amanda, working, wait, two 12-hour shifts this weekend, but staying up to watch this live. Hey, I'm sorry I'm late. And all my people overseas, I know you guys are super mad at me. I'm so sorry that I'm late to be, be in this live stream, but we here. I told y'all I was going to make it happen. I'm a man of my word. Glad I made it to the live. I've been checking all your afternoon. Just, yep, I, we here. We is here. Jacob, what up, Jacob? Thank you, brother. We made it. He's in this thing. But yeah, we're about to get this party started. Nah, Giovanna, you can't go to sleep yet, sweetheart. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Take your butt to sleep, woman. This live stream going to still be up on the channel. It ain't going nowhere. You might not watch it live, but <laughs> you're going to watch it later. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> God, lay all these donations keep on coming through. Can we get to the live already? <laughs> wait, hold on. What Jessica say? She says, don't uh, don't choose up over... Wait, don't choose up over friends and fun? I'm too tired. Oh, you don't choose y'all. Don't choose us over friends and fun. Nah, I'm tired. I was going to choose rest over friends and fun even if i wasn't gonna do this live stream because i almost didn't i almost hit you guys up and be like y'all look we, we ain't gonna do this live stream tonight your boy your boy ain't got it in him but as soon as i press that record button i felt a little jolt of energy that's gonna dissipate as soon as this stream is over i'm telling you that right now i already know i already know <sighs> we gotta stop we just gotta get to this video already because we got three of them and we got to get uh, get the heck up out of here. Anyway, y'all, this first video is weird and scary videos you have to see. Don't quote me, but I think this might be Slap Tam. Let's find out. Y'all boys girls ready? I'm ready. Y'all, we got over a thousand people in here already in the first eight minutes. Let's go. Have we seen this already? How you doing? I'm Callum and this, this is Slap Tam. Today we're looking at some scary videos that will really freak you out. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more mysterious content just like this. Have we seen this? While some paranormal enthusiasts may go looking for supernatural activity. I don't want to do that, but my viewers are making me. It would seem skeptics can encounter ghosts too. I've been that posted to Reddit by user Stalk of the Zone, a self. I know I've seen this clip before. I think Perfect. I've seen a lot of wheelchairs in hospitals move by themselves. So have you guys. Skeptic himself, this clip shows just how terrifying an unwanted encounter with a ghost would be. The poster explains that he was an avid skeptic until witnessing the supernatural events of this clip. Being a security officer at a hospital, the uploader explains that he noted the empty wheelchair in this hallway as being on the opposite side of the hall during his first patrol. Upon approaching that same... Maybe somebody moved it, you know? This is a hospital. Maybe a patient was like, Nah, I'm gonna leave it right here. ...chair on his second patrol, he noted it was now in the middle of the hallway. Possibly spooked already, the uploader then begins to record the clip in question. Watch what happens. See? See, I don't no, 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 The chair stands still for a moment. Then it turns slowly on its own until it's facing the direction of the uploader. Yeah. Oh, look. That might be an uneven floor. You know, he could have he could have set this thing up right there. Look, I'm just... <laughs> Folks be thinking I don't be believing stuff that I watch. That don't be the case. Um, I'm a logical person, and I like to come at it with viewpoints that may um, prove otherwise. It's not, it's not to say that I don't believe it. It's, um, you know, it's to challenge what it is that we see. Don't be foolish to believe everything you see. 
Again, not saying I don't believe this, but I'm just thinking a, a possibility could be that this is an uneven floor. And sometimes you can walk on the floor and feel it. You can feel where a floor might be uneven. He could have set this wheelchair here in this specific spot, knowing that it's going to roll a certain way because of how uneven the floor is. I could be wrong. Completely. See? See, I can do No, 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 no. I definitely wouldn't want no wheelchair rolling facing me if it ain't nobody in it. At this moment, the uploader seems to be simultaneously vindicated and horrified. Having captured video proof of possible supernatural activity, the uploader likely felt a sense of relief that he was not imagining any of these weird events. However, it would seem this skeptic was now face to face with his first instance of supernatural activity. See? See, I don't know. No, 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 no. As the security guard is a self-professed skeptic, there's little reason he would have gone looking for supernatural activity or attempted to manufacture it in the first place. Or, that's what they want us to think. It's lending to the clip's credibility. With no one else around, many believe the wheelchair was moved by some sort of supernatural force. Given that this footage was filmed in a hospital, it's easy to imagine the ghost of a restless former patient pushing the chair around. See? See, I fing do no 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 Um cute. Int Those nails though, I can't I can't like like They're too long. They're too long. You can't I'm not gonna let you touch me. You might hurt me. Internet collectively panicked for TikTok user Mu Ya Ya when she uploaded this video showing off her nails. Why are they so long? Look at that. Well, they're longer than her fingers, man. <laughs> they're longer. Like, if your nails so long that they're not even straight, like. Your nail, your nail should never, like, all right. It's never go sideways. <laughs> her nail is going sideways, bro. Oh, my God. She's, she's. She probably don't actually wear her nails like this. She's just doing it for the content, the purpose of the content. Uh, Mystic Ray, shout out to you. New channel member, big baby. Her outrageous manicures were set to take center stage. Channel members, y'all getting a live stream um, for yourselves. Channel members only next week. I'll announce in another live stream Monday uh, what day is going to be. We got 1,500 people in here, big baby. Viewers quickly noticed something eerie. Oh, dang. She just, see, I told you, she don't wear her nails like that. She just did it for the content. Or else she wouldn't be snapping them off so so quick and easy. Take a look. Oh. Yo, who's behind her? They're so like they are. Man, this is Cap. That's her boyfriend back there. They trying to make the videos more interesting by planting somebody in the back. While the user seemed unaware of the shadowy presence looming behind her, viewers couldn't just let it slide once they noticed it. Clearly freaked out by the figure's appearance, most of the user's comments and attention focused wholly on the figure and making sure the TikTok user was aware of its presence. They are s In the clip, the figure appears to be nearly pitch black. The angle at which the clip was captured also makes the figure appear absurdly tall. Like, they are s What's more, the figure doesn't appear to move at all during the few short... I mean, <laughs> if you think about everything he just said, he said the pigger, the pigger, the figure appeared to be pitch black and the angle at which it was recorded made that made the figure also appear to be tall. What do women usually say when <laughs> they talk about the type of men that they like? They like them tall, dark and handsome. He got down the tall and dark part. We just don't know if he was handsome. <laughs> what seconds in which it's featured in the clip? <laughs> They're so like, they are. Some users mm. even went so far as to claim the figure was clearly a shadow demon. With so many TikTok users worried about the uploader's safety, they certainly got her attention. When the user finally responded, she was sure to calm everyone's fears by letting them know the figure in the background was actually just her fiance standing in the kitchen. Told you. Her fiance is just a little bit creepy. He's just a little bit creepy and a lucky guy. She's hot. <laughs> mm. 
Mimi Hunter, shout out to you. Wait, what is this emoji thing? That looks dope. I've never seen that before. Super effective. That looks cool as heck. I want that to be on my screen all the time. <laughs> Sabrina, welcome to the channel, sweetheart. You're a member. You are a member. And shout out to everybody that's on the website copping merchandise, man. Yeah, I'm going to shout you guys out at the end of the live stream. It's a bunch of y'all, man. I think 10 orders just came in within the last 15 minutes. Shout you guys out. Um, but I'm going to autograph all that stuff for you guys, too. I can't wait. My weekend's about to be busy. I'm trying to get that stuff out the door to y'all by Monday. But huge shout out to everyone oh, look. who was... Oh, no, that's the dog. I was like, huh, wait, <laughs> sir, fiance on the floor doing some stuff. Asking if I was okay. You're the real MVPs. Well, the... And then he pops back up wearing the exact same stuff. I told you, she like, I was right. Females like him tall, dark, and handsome. He's tall and dark, and he's probably handsome. Demon theory was eventually to We just can't see his face. Bunked. Viewers were nonetheless spooked by its appearance in the meantime. Oh, they're so like, they are. Him just standing there is mad weird, though. I don't know. I don't know about her fiance. He might be a creeper. Although some clips are easily. Bro, I just wanna hold on. I just wanna use a tweezer and just get all the little blackheads out of his nose. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Clips are easily debunked. Others will likely continue to puzzle internet sleuths indefinitely. I'm a fool, man. I've been noticing the weirdest stuff, man. Not weird, but like, I'm just weird. This clip posted to Reddit by user Swingset Superman has people positing all sorts of off the wall theories without settling on a single definitive outcome. Captured by a ring doorbell camera, the clip in question shows a fleet of small bro Zach, if you're watching, you were supposed to install my ring doorbell camera yesterday, bro. What happened? Flat tire, huh? Sure. Quietly lit specks moving to and fro in front of the home's doorstep. The specks are relatively small, but certainly not small enough to be dust. While the uploader first saw a more conventional, those are baby aliens. Duh. explanation for the clip, they quickly realized there was none to be found. <laughs> Wondering if they were possibly insects or small animals of some kind, Reddit users... Shout out to everybody that's in here in the live stream for the first time. And the, the back comers, the comers back. Shout out to you guys as well, but it's a bunch of y'all that's in here for the first time. Through a blank. For bugs to move with such coordination would be fairly unnatural. Yo, Amy said, no playing dead in this live stream. You might fall asleep. <laughs> you for that because I legit thought the same thing. I was like if I play dead I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> that's how tired I am. Even more so. They'd... Ooh that's pretty. Be no reason for them to glow in this way. Actually no it's hideous. I'm lying. <laughs> Unless they were fireflies. But these straight That ain't no fireflies. Fireflies be blinking and they never they never sink their blinks. <laughs> <laughs> These lights are not blinking. These are either supernatural or alien. Eggs don't seem to match that type of insect. Nah, heck nah. While some more skeptical users argued that it may be some kind of strange reflection on the camera lens, others were not convinced by this explanation. With no one able to pinpoint an insect or animal that behaved in this way, the uploader was encouraged to post this clip to supernatural subreddits. Even there, users were stumped as to what they were seeing. Divided, some users argued that the specs were actually small aliens. Oh! I was not expecting to hear that. And that's the answer I wanted, too. I was like, yo, if anything, I want this to be alien. It makes no sense because they're freaking tiny. But that's what I wanted to be. And look, I was not expecting him to say that. Big brain. Big brain. We winning. Yeah, we got almost 2,000 people in the live stream, baby. Only in the first 20 minutes. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. I was not expecting that. Y'all, there's only 100 of these available. Artykicks.com. In their reasoning, the users argued that no one's ever said aliens have to be large in size. Exactly what I was thinking. 
That's why I said that. That's why I wanted them to be aliens. But because who's to say aliens are big? They could be tiny like this. My neck is killing me. I need a massage. Ladies, anybody want to offer me one? Other users believe the erratic flex to be some kind of ghost or other supernatural entity. Still, the coordinated movements of the small entities and the traces they leave behind wouldn't allow users to come to a consensus. I'm telling you, exactly those movements, man. I'm like, they, they're too cohesive. I would think alien, if anything. It's likely the uploader will never have a clear idea of just what they've managed to capture on film. Yeah. Some ghostly occurrences are captured by professional investigators who know just what they're looking for and, oh, do they? and how to handle them. Let me see. This is the case with this clip and pictures captured by one Ian Griffiths. A psychic medium and the founder of a supernatural investigation group called Walking With Spirit, Griffiths claims to have known exactly what he needed to do after purchasing an antique mirror. He says he was struck by the supernatural energy emitting from the object. Luckily, this seasoned paranormal investigator was already equipped with an electronic voice phenomena or EVP device that he could use in order to attempt and capture a conversation with the potential spirit. Despite being a hardened supernatural investigator who has worked for over 20 years in the field, Griffiths claims to be still spooked by occurrences such as these. The photo shows the mirror in question. Griffiths claims that at one point he saw a small girl looking back at him from inside this mirror. In the video clip, you can hear some strange and unexpected. I would have shattered that mirror. Plain rattling in the background of his conversation. This is your chance to talk. This is your chance to communicate. Then an even eerier sound is captured. Take a listen. Hey, shout out to you. I can't understand what your name is. Uh, you say you got a date tomorrow. Nice. I hope I hope everything goes well. I was supposed to have a date tomorrow, but women flake too much, man. She postponed a date on me. <laughs> nah, I have zero luck out here with these women. Spirit voice. You help me. Griffiths believes that the noises can be interpreted as a voice saying, you help me. Here it is again. This fool reaching. How in the world do you hear you help me out of that? I didn't. That just sound like a language from a freaking. It didn't sound human. How you get you help me out of that? Oh, my God. Miss, ask me. No, you're amazing. Thank you for the twenty dollar donation. Donation, donation. These findings convince the uploader that the spirit of a young girl does indeed haunt his mirror. Through his conversations with the spirit, he claims to have learned that the child's name is Alison Marie, who happens to be about nine years old. Still, Griffith's long ex I'm shattering that mirror. Experience. I don't care nothing about no ghost dead nine year old girl. I don't. I wouldn't believe it. I wouldn't believe it. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. They they trying to trick me. This spirit, this demon is trying to trick me. It's trying to disguise itself as a sweet little girl. <laughs> I summon you. Nah, I would have shattered that mirror. Nah, it's with she ain't about to get me. Nope, <laughs> not me. The supernatural has taught him to be cautious. He explains that some ill-intentioned spirits sometimes pretend to be young and innocent, 
in order to trick people such as himself. Although he's wary, Griffiths is still proud of the evidence he's captured. Only time will tell whether it could be something far more sinister. Yo, how you say Mama Duke's name? Is it Myrna or Myrna? 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 Shout out to Mama Duke. So. <laughs> I can say that much. Shout out to Mama Duke. She ain't here, baby. First live stream with your boy. We got over 2,200 people in here. Let's go. Posted by a YouTube channel called Ghost, this clip features an extremely unique light phenomenon. Take a look. Yo, that's weird. Throughout the video, an odd speck of light is seen slowly streaking across the night sky. Yeah, it does look like a streak, but a slow streak. Without changing its direction. <laughs> While images of long, cigar-shaped UFOs have circulated the internet in the past, viewers are hesitant to classify this as the same type of UFO. According to the uploader, the lights moved slowly until they were entirely out of view. Many were quick to point out the possibility of these lights being emitted from one of SpaceX's Starlink satellites, which are both bright and highly visible. However, these satellites are usually seen as a variety of separate lights moving in a distinct line. Mm, is that how they look? Yeah. Yeah, Space Link or whatever they call it, they would trip me out. I would be thinking, ah, aliens! Rather than one single row of light. Other viewers claimed that they had seen similar shaped lights lingering in the night sky in their local towns and cities. So until further info comes to hand, this sighting will have to remain a UFO, an unidentified flying object. It, that's literally what this is. I mean, it's literally a UFO, a UFO, a UFO, an unidentified flying object. You can't identify what it is, so it's a UFO. What up, Jessica? Mum of two, <laughs> Kaylee Corby, was shocked when something eerie was spotted in. <laughs> Thank you for the donut. What was supposed to be an innocent TikTok video? What this fool see? When Corby posted the clip to her account, corby 123 A, comments quickly flooded in, pointing out the strange figure in the background of her reaction video. Okay, so whatever the issue is, is going to be in this video on the left. Let's find out. Take a look. Ah, somebody's in the background back here. Y'all, folks be reaching. Folks be reaching hard, man. This woman can't have somebody that she live with? That could be her son. That could be her brother, uncle, daddy, husband, boyfriend, fiance. Gosh, people be reaching. They be wanting some. Hey, look behind you. There's someone there. Yeah my spouse just over corby's right shoulder you can make out a dark silhouette of a person standing in the background yeah her husband corby told the uk news outlet the echo that her two kids were upstairs asleep when the incident occurred there was supposed to be no one else in the house maybe your son was sneak trying to sneak out the house to go to a party <laughs> Your oldest boy was trying to sneak out the house to go to a party. And then he was like, oh, crap, my mom's recording something. Oh, crap. She's freaking, she's doing a, the front-facing camera. Darn it. She's probably going to be able to see me in the background. I might as well go back up to my room. After it was brought to her attention, Corby quickly rang her parents, who came over immediately to be with her. Although it's not been reported to the police, the general consensus from viewers is that an intruder was caught on camera. So on Yeah, that's what the viewers say, but what does she say? Did she make a follow-up video saying that she had an intruder? Huh? Or did she file a police report saying that she had an intruder? 
Because if not... I can't get... Like the clip we showed earlier. That... Yeah, these are on the website too, you guys. No cap. Bam, as a matter of fact, I haven't worn this one yet. Woo! I like these. No capping on this channel. We don't do that. Turned out to be just the uploader's fiance. This eerie figure can't be so easily explained. Them kids came from somewhere. She didn't make them herself, I'll tell you that. Let me know what you would do if you spotted an in. She might have just be. Sometimes people will go with the story. You know, she might know exactly who that was that was in the background, but she's like, oh man, my viewers are eating this up. I'm, I'm going to go with this story. We're going we to keep playing off of this. We're going to keep playing off of this. It's a possibility. Intruder in your house after the fact via a video. Let me know down below. But it could be real. She might, she might have actually had an intruder. My only thing would be, yo, why didn't the intruder take anything? <laughs> Why didn't the intruder do anything either? He's just gonna go up in there and then dip out. Before we take a look at another strange object seen floating in the night sky, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon. Monet! Hey y'all, she done did it again. She done did I'm telling you, this woman is a low-key millionaire. She keep coming up in here dropping off a hundred dollars and then she just disappears. She never says anything. We don't know nothing about this woman. Other than the fact that she got money. <laughs> Shout out to you, sweetheart. We in here. Cat, thank you. And good evening to you as well. Thank you for the $10 donation. Brandy as well. What you, what, what's with this little fox thing? Is he is he cracking up? What's so funny? <laughs> there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop. Y'all, we is almost at a million subscribers. Can you believe it? I can't. I'm not prepared. There's so much that I'm supposed to be doing for this freaking million subscriber thingy. Supposed to throw a party or something, a little celebration. I'm just, I'm just not prepared. We're getting there too soon. I don't. Can can we slow it down? <laughs> yeah, y'all stop hitting that subscribe button. Every time <laughs> we had almost 2,500 people in here though, big baby. We drop our scary and mysterious videos. Also, a completely free way to support our channel is to clickety click that little lickety like button there. This final clip, captured in Cheshire, UK, features a strange event so unique, the woman who captured it claims to have been terrified to the point of shaking. Captured by one Romany Smith, the clip in question shows a variety of lights in the sky, which appear to blink and change in colour rapidly. As the lights change colours from orange to green to red and blue... That does look very dope. Smith was entranced and sure she had never seen anything like it before. I haven't, that's for sure. What's more, Smith is... Man, I swear. I want to see an alien. I want to see a real life alien. I wanted to talk to me. Convinced she's captured irrefutable evidence of a UFO floating above her home. PWC! Shout out to you, welcome. Welcome to the channel. New member. Samantha and Austin, both of them up in here. Got a little couple, little, little husband and wife up in here. What's going on? Thank you for that $10 donation too, um, PWC. The encounter is said to have lasted for over 40 minutes. Dang, you recorded that that whole time? I mean, that. how many gigs was that on your phone? You might want to delete that. Upload it to your computer first. Smith also... Are we sure this person is recording outside their home? And not got some type of weird light thing on their ceiling that they're recording? So many questions. Claims that a darker object could be seen every so often within the light. She said that the flying object occasionally turned on its side so that she could be sure it was a flying object and not just a reflection of lights. Wait, somebody said I should go <laughs> ghost hunt, look up a school, vampire school in Louisiana. I feel like I will find vampires there instead of ghosts. I don't want to get bit. This idea cemented to Smith that she was truly looking at an unexplainable phenomenon and not just a trick of the light or a trick of her mind. Confronted with this idea, Smith admitted to being truly terrified. 
Nah, I mean that that makes sense. I don't think a cell phone can record a trick of the mind. Whatever's tricking your mind, I don't think a cell phone will pick that up. As her mind tried to rationalize what she was seeing, she reasoned the object was far too large to be a drone. Hey, sh whoa, what? Far too large to be a drone? What's more, multiple airplanes happened to pass by while she was looking at the object, with each seeming smaller than the strange glowing object. I don't see no airplanes. While this is far from a normal occurrence, Smith does admit that this isn't the first time she thinks she's seen a UFO. About Yo, whatever that is though, if, if that is something in the sky that's firing off like that, that junk looks so freaking dope. Because it's flashing. It's all these different colors. And it's like an orb. And it's just lights coming out of it. It's crazy. It looks so dope. Shout out to Christopher. I see you said you copped the Nope Not Me shirt. Those are almost out of stock, man. I don't know if I'm going to restock those either. Six years. Nah. Prior, Smith claims to have witnessed two other odd flying objects in the air. Six years prior? Was it in the same area? Each emitting their own light the size of two football pitches. What? So what do you think? The size of two football pictures? Is that what he said? Things being captured on camera here. Love to hear your theories in the comments section below. Now if you want to see... I honestly don't know what that is. I can't even think of what that could have been. So I'm calling it... I'm calling it UF to the... Oh! On to the next video. We got 2,500 people in here. Welcome, everybody. New, new. Finally made a live video from Seattle showing love. Thank you so much. Welcome. You made it. You made it to the live stream, big baby. It's a bunch of new people in here today. Yo. And we're streaming on Twitch, too, y'all. And I bet the Twitch stream looks a lot smoother, a lot cleaner than it does on YouTube. Heck, I bet it looks better than it does in freaking Streamlabs. Truth be told. Whenever I go over there to Twitch, that junk be purdy. As a matter of fact, I want to pull it up right quick, but uh, we gotta we gotta check out the next video, y'all. This next video is top ten scary videos, not for the easy, easily afraid. Shout out to the man's chills. Let's get it. Do you crumple up in fear at the mere thought of something scary? Then um no. Except for this, I don't like heights. <laughs> These videos are not for you. Number 10, caught on security cam. We've all done it. Almost choked on something while distracted. But what should... He, this man just said we've all done it. Almost choked on something while distracted. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I've ever done that. I'm trying to think what would cause me to do that. If a super hot chick walked by while I was eating a hot dog. <laughs> I what do you do if you find yourself in this position while you're alone? The CCTV footage shows how a guy almost passed away while prepping a restaurant to open. What? The guy is doing his rounds, wiping down tables and getting everything in order. When suddenly he slows down, hitting his chest a couple times. It's clear something is going wrong, but he doesn't seem too concerned yet. He attempts to continue with his tasks for a moment, but then realizes this is serious. Walking to the middle of the floor, he bends to touch his knees and appears to be trying to stay calm as he continues. Yo, he's like, y'all gotta take this mask off. I, I would have did the same thing. I'm like, yo, I feel sick. Feel like I'm dying. Screw this mask. I need to breathe right to pound his chest and bend over trying to eject the piece of gum that's lodged in his throat he starts to panic he cannot breathe he attempts to shout for help but nothing comes out while panicking more and more and getting increasingly unsteady from lack of air he attempts to give himself the heimlich with his hands still nothing he then positions a chair to give him the heimlich bending over it and trying to fall the right way having already gone a couple minutes without breathing he does this a few times no luck it's starting to look like a lost cause but at the last second the gum ejects from his throat he is able to stand up again and looks incredibly relieved as he should he oh my god yo this man 
he was choking on chewing gum. Oh my God. Um, parents, if you're watching, please, please keep a close eye on your kids if they're chewing gum. Nearly passed away from a piece of gum. Before we go any further, this video is sponsored by Hunt a Killer. It's a horror subscription game. Each season is made up of six boxes or episodes, and each box is full of realistic evidence, maps, police reports, and more. Ooh, I bet that's fun. To provide a horrifying and immersive experience, it's like a horror movie in a box, and you're the main character. Since I've been cooped up, I always just end up on the couch, scrolling on my phone, and binging TV shows. But I just found my newest binge worth obsession. Hunt a Killer has just come out with a Blair Witch game that gets shipped to my door every month. Here's the story Rosemary Kent, a woman who. I don't need to hear all this story, but y'all, y'all might want to check out this. I'm sure it'll be linked down in um, his video. Use code CHILLS to get a little discount, probably. You know what I'm saying? 20% off. There we go, right there. That does sound interesting, though. Out of the. Can you play it by yourself? Because I'm pretty much a loner. I don't have nobody to play it with. <laughs> Corner of your eye. While exploring an abandoned house, make note of what happens in your periphery. Published in March of 2021, the footage you're about to see was recorded in France around 11 p.m. As Français. a pair of paranormal investigators round the corner of a dark, empty room. They discover that it isn't empty after all. Mm. Just beyond a picture that's leaning against the wall, a figure moves quickly out of sight. Of did it or did the flashlight point down a dark hallway and cause it to light up? Against the wall, a figure moves. Yep, that's exactly what it was. I like the brain on there. It looks pretty dope. There's no figure in this hallway. It's dark in this hallway, and then a flashlight illuminates. Against the wall, a figure moves. See that? Quickly out of sight as the light falls upon it. It happens so fast that it's difficult to see what the figure even is, but it appears as though it's crouched slightly. Still love you, Chills. As it rises up before pulling out of view, the two-man crew approaches the hallway to investigate, but there's nothing there. Did it somehow soundlessly disappear into one of these rooms? Lucas, welcome to the channel, big baby. And who is this? Successful Minds. I love that name. Welcome. And thank you for the $40 dono. We got our moderator, Steve, in the house. Thank you for hanging out with us, brother. Spending some time with us. I know you got a whole family to look after and take care of. Hope they're doing well, too. Hope the wifey and a newborn, or the soon-to-be-born, is doing well as well. Or as we suspect, did it disappear into thin air? Number eight, boardwalk. While investigating an old schoolhouse, this group's trail camera caught this unexplained happening. Posted to the ghost subreddit, key consequence 7618 explains what we're looking at here. We had come from the first classroom walking towards the second classroom. This is a light in the doorway on the left just as the board jumps up. The board that he's talking about is a piece of plywood set in a doorway. It shudders long after they've entered the room, so it can't be a reverberation of the crew having walked on it. For That's what I was going to say it was, but yeah, I mean, it did move like hella late. As the Redditor said, a strange light appears in the window of the door, as if someone that was standing there left at that very moment. Although the Redditor says he and another member of his crew were the only two people in the house, it looks like they weren't alone. Unless somebody ever so slightly moved that door to push up against that wood, and we just didn't see who did that. I mean, it was super dark, and the video footage was quite boo-boo-ish. Number seven, the hike of no return. Mm. Are you willing to risk your life? Nope, not me. For a thrill. Nope. Before you put on your hiking shoes. I, I risked my life for a thrill today. I went roller skating. 
And I thought there was there was a few times where I thought I was gonna take some very nasty falls because I was flying. That was all the risk I needed. Watch this video of Huashan Mountain published a YouTube. Oh heck no. YouTube in June of 2018, an unsubstantiated rumor is that the mountain takes 100 lives annually. And after you, watching, you, I believe it. You know, if I get my fat butt on there, I would be one of those 100. I'm telling you. In this footage, it certainly seems plausible. Pedro writes, once you are going up the mountain, there is not much protection for you. One of the most difficult parts of the hike is the cliffside plank walk. You are quite literally walking the plank, hanging on to the side of a mountain peak for dear life. Pedro notes that it's one of the mountain's most popular attractions, and there's all- I bet it is. How they put those little footsteps inside of the freaking, um... The wall. You see, they got these big old squares. How do they do that? Often a three or more hour queue to walk the plank. As you can see in the video, when Pedro arrives at the plank, he's one among many climbers hanging on to a rusty old chain as they take their per- The chain screwed in like, yo, whoever put this stuff here were ballsy. Like this, this whole little thing right here i don't know what you call it <laughs> but it's securing the ropes to the wall and stuff whoever put that there ballsy various steps along the piece of broken that wood the worst freaking planks of wood i've ever seen in my life but whoever put it there ballsy wood a seven thousand seventy foot drop lies below nah i wouldn't even be able to breathe that high nope Pedro says some people take off their harness in order to capture better photos, hence the risk of the mountain. You take off your harness, you're one of those people that... You think I'm about to go and do something that 100 people die attempting each year? I don't play with my life like that. I just, I look, I only have one of them. I don't have, I'm not like a cat. I don't got nine lives. Also, not like a cat. I'm not going to fall 7,000 feet and land on my feet. No, I'm not doing it. No, you can't. No. You couldn't even pay me to do it. Nope. Now you couldn't give me millions. I wouldn't do it. I don't need it. I don't care for money that much. Climbing the mountain is enough of a risk. Makes you wonder, is a photo really worth your life? No, it ain't. It really ain't. I have, look, whoever the fool that wants to do it, Take the picture for me. Take a nice picture and send it to me. I'm not even going to let you take... I wouldn't even let my phone go up there. No, you're not even going to take the picture with my phone. Send me the picture from your phone. Nah, nah. I care about me and mine. Nope. Not me. Stephanie, I know. I tried to tell you. Them shirts, them nope, not me's. They about sold out. Number six, secret basement. What's beneath your floorboards? This clip was originally posted by TikTok user Unfortunate Existence. Yo, y'all see that new, I think it's new. It's on Netflix. It's called Hunted, I think it is. Yo, it's like, it's it's almost like um, Mr. Mr. Ballin, where it's like these people sit around and tell these stories of crazy stuff that happened to them, but then they have people act it out. It's like a whole freaking movie or tv or show i don't know what you want to call it but it's really cool i watched an episode last night with my boy fernando where we were folding up the merchandise for you guys and it was free it was freaky uh, we were like yo this you can't watch this at night not alone i couldn't do it the tiktoker was replacing her carpets in her home when she came across a secret trap door captioned when you pull the carpet off your floor and find a basement you never knew about the yo that would be crazy like how you go how somebody gonna sell you a home and there's parts of the home you don't even know about the footage reveals that the secret door led into a secret cellar admittedly the creepiest thing about discovering a hidden room in your home is the question of why that room was kept hidden but we'll get to that only after we've explored it the basement is equal exactly like why not tell somebody about a room if you're no longer going to be able to occupy it. Clipped with a set of wooden stairs, so it looks as though its location was known by the past tenant or owner and the basement was used. 
the TikToker captures her first descent into the sea. What up, John? Look, I'm still not going on that mountain. Her room on video. There's nothing much in the room but a bucket in one corner, a garbage bag that appears to be empty under the stairs, an old candy girl. You better turn them lights off. You cheating? Don't do it. Hey, if you're watching with your lights on, your punks. I need you to turn your lights off and watch this. Don't be punks. Chair and desk behind the stairs and a disassembled bed frame. There's also a large red liquid splatter on one side of the room, which the- Yo, them splats do look kind of fresh, though. Maybe that's why nobody was told about this secret room, because maybe there's another entrance from, be from beneath the house that you can access to get into this room and utilize it. That would be the reason why if I had a house and I didn't tell somebody about a room because I need to keep using it without them knowing. Don't you agree? Anyway, y'all, we got almost 3,000 people in the live stream. Big, big, big. TikToker calls a little concerning. She notes that it doesn't smell decent down there. When all appears to be relatively normal, the cellar light suddenly switches on, <laughs> throwing a wrench into her investigation. Does someone know that she's there? That's more than a little concerning. Number five. Maybe the person that turned the light on is going through the other secret passage to get to that room. That's why they turned the light on, because they're about to be in there. Serbian storm. Imagine cruising down a highway Woo, no manches. in Serbia when this apocalyptic... Yo, that looks crazy. I would Man, if I was driving on this road and the sky looked like that and all this debris was flying at me, you know what I would think, right? Oh, the end of times are here. Storm slams down upon you out of nowhere. That's what happened to this individual. He notes that he was driving from Belgrade to Novi Sad on a typical day in Serbia without any warning signs that rain was coming and not just any rain. He writes, in just minutes, everything changed. He said that the crazy Yo. storm shook their car like a piece of paper. Yo, that's crazy. I would be terrified. I'm like, yo. Nobody told me there was a tornado coming. Now we all might lose our lives. Threw loads of trash onto the highway and almost sent them sliding off the road. As you can see this happening in the video, as the storm clouds darken and a whole lot of debris starts Yo! flying around, the storm sweeps up loads of dust, reducing visibility to... Like, I'm over here thinking of like a thousand ways to die. Like, what if something plowed into the vehicle? Yo, we got 3,000 people in here. Welcome. Nothing in a matter of seconds. Many of the cars start flashing their emergency lights and decide to play it safe and pull over. Like, when you really think about that, 3,000 people, that's insane. It's like I got 3,000 people inside of my home. I'm pretty sure I couldn't fit 100 people in here. Within minutes, they're forced to stop and wait out the storm. It looks like they're sitting in the middle of nature's car wash. Only instead of clean water, a barrage of dirt is being thrown at them. Although the video only lasts two minutes, Lorand writes that the storm lasted about 20 before the skies clear to blue again. That's Number crazy. four, abandoned mini golf. This mini golf course is haunted by so many golfers who didn't win their round. Publish. <laughs> this man said this mini golf course is haunted by so many people that didn't win their round. Man, you got to be the most pathetic ghost in the world to come back and hunt a mini golf course after you've passed on. Like, what, what was your life? What was your life? Huh. YouTube by Urban Ghosts Urban Exploration in April of 2021. Joe, Rob, and Kate are up for a course in fear as they explore this abandoned mini golf in the middle of a lightning storm. The whole thing kicks off with nothing but whispers. In the beginning, as they explore a room that's been torn apart, you can hear this whispering in the background. <laughs> As they continue to explore, there's another voice that sounds like it says, that's creepy, as they come across a stuffed teddy bear. 
Joe notes that the teddy bear wasn't here when he last visited the place as they move glass off the teddy a short while later. Two distinct knocks are heard. Despite this, they continue exploring. At this point, in a darkened room, two lights shine clearly above Joe's head, but these could either be a passing vehicle's headlights shining through a window, or they might be from one of the crew's devices. At the same time, it sounds like a faint voice is heard. Either road noise. Yeah. Either road noise. I think that light on the ceiling came from this guy's this guy right here i think it came from his what that light that he had in his hand that flashlight i think it was a reflection that came off of that because if you look at the light on the ceiling it moved simultaneously i can't even say that word right it moved at the same time that he did watch third either road no you see, as he's moving, and then he, he's shining it down. Please. And then when he turns it off, it goes away too. Or somebody potentially walking around out there and I think it's all a whisper. As Joe is talking a short while later. Michelle, good to see you in here again. How you doing, Miss Trans? Travis. Electric wire and entire city. Oh yeah, it was though. It, it seriously was. Stephanie has become a channel member. Shout out to you. Thank you, baby girl. Something or someone is heard speaking over him. Yeah, we got almost 500 channel members. Insane. So many supporters. Love you guys. Y'all are big, big time in it. Nick, killing it with the support. Yeah, I'm gonna the voice is loud but muddled, and the crew seems to have heard it coming from outside the room. They decide to explore the ceiling air shaft. For a moment, you can hear weird laughter. Who's up there? Later, while filming, sound like a baby doll laugh. Inside the same air shaft, a distinct boom is heard, which causes Kate to let out a terrifying scream. This, of course, scares the entire crew. A boom? Later, whispers are heard in the air shaft again. <laughs> then they film up inside the air shaft. This is when you can hear a muffled female voice. <laughs> Yeah, that did it sound like, like a, it's that definitely sound like a muffled female voice. And move on back shortly after. Yeah, we got almost 3,100 people in the live stream. Big baby! Another knocking sound. The crew believes there's a spirit up in the air shaft. They are listening deeply. And at this point, it sounds like a woman singing, but they don't appear to hear her on sight. YouTuber Stella Gomez also notes that the sun ray has been moved against the wall at the end of the video. Bunch of people on the website copy merchandise. Thank you guys. I'm shouting you guys out at the end of this. A YouTuber mentioned something. It wasn't there to begin with. So unless the crew moved it, then who did? Being as they usually don't. Wait, it was where? YouTuber Stella Gomez also notes that the sun ray has been moved against the wall at the end of the video. It wasn't there to begin with, so unless the crew moved it, then who did? Being as they usually don't disturb anything, its movement is all the more disturbing. Is the lady in the air shaft toying around with them? Number three, rocking chair. Grandma, is that you? Published to YouTube by Mordica's Captured Moments in April of 2021. Mordica writes, One night years ago, the chair on my friend's porch was rocking on its own. The video shows an old wooden rocking chair standing outside a pair of wooden framed glass doors. The chair begins rocking in an unusual fashion. Not I'm sorry, y'all. My legs are so tired that I almost pulled a crap like twice today. My leg gets and one just now. It's been disturbed by a breeze or knocked by something, but as though someone is sitting in it, rocking and halting according to whim. Man, it's so dark out here. There could easily be somebody there that's rocking this chair back and forth that we cannot see because it's so dark. Apparently, this isn't the only scary incident that occurred in Mordica's friend's house. 
She responds to a YouTuber that her house was so deeply scary that she never let anyone know how scared she really was. Thankfully, she moved 2,000 miles away from this haunted... <laughs> I hope you didn't take the ghosty with you. She moved 2,000 away. Played. 2,000 miles away. All she can hope for is whoever is rocking that chair didn't follow. Number two, creature sighting. This footage, published by Paranormal World in August of 2019, shows a scenic mountain and forest opposite an overpass. After completing a full 360 to take it all in, the camera falls to the cars whizzing past below before returning to the mountain. This time, the mountain isn't the only thing carving out the sky. Live stream is over, you guys. Live stream is over. Good night. I'm just gonna leave it right here. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna exit. I'm just gonna go to bed. They really want us to believe Godzilla is real now. They really trying to get us to believe that Godzilla is real. Did you not see the movie? Godzilla was televised on every news freaking station because Godzilla and King Kong be destroying the world. And nobody can stop them because they're freaking nuclear. They're radioactive. I don't know what the freak they are. They're they're crazy. They're, that's what they are. They're crazy. You can't stop Godzilla and King Kong. You got to just let them duke it out. And you want us to believe that they're real? You try to, give, you try to tell me Godzilla is real? The only Godzilla I've seen is in the, the, in the car, in the car, the car scene, the car scene. What, which one is it? Which one do they call Godzilla? Is it the is it the Nissan Skyline, or is it the Toyota Supra? One of those is Godzilla. I can't remember which one. I know y'all gonna comment for me. That's the only Godzilla there is. Dang on it. Only all the other ones are in the movies in the and the stuff like that. Look. Where's my cap? Where's where's the that's cap? Where's the that's cap cap? Yo, I restocked those in black, you guys. They're available again on the website, artykicks.com. They sold out last time of the last in the first two days. You guys, y'all gotta Y'all keep on asking me for this merchandise stuff. I'm just trying to make content. <laughs> y'all keep on y'all look. I love you guys. I love you guys. I know y'all wanna rock what I rock too. It's it's cool. I understand. I appreciate it. I want to put a cap on Godzilla's head right now. I do want to put a cap on his head right there. How can I do that? Let's try it. You know, it's not. I want to put this one because this is not big brain energy. This is this is no cap energy. This is cap. Wait, right there. We're just gonna we're gonna put it on Godzilla's head. Wait, I gotta move out the way. I gotta I got move out the way. I gotta move out the way. Hold on, I can't, I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. Let me move out the way. I can't do it. Where is his head? I can't get it right. I just want to put this cap on Godzilla's head. Ah! Wait, was that Chewbacca? Did I just hear Chewbacca? A Godzilla-like creature peeks out from behind the mountain. At first, one might mistake it for the mountain itself, but it slowly begins to move, voiding that theory. While well, many in the comments say this is a good edit, some are more concerned by the man's reaction. YouTuber Dap writes, If there is a Godzilla, you are running, not chewing gum. That's probably true, although other people note that the creature is friendly, so perhaps the cameraman had no need to fear him. Still, seeing a creature the size of a mountain would probably get your heart pumping, friendly or not. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap
McRobert, please give my mom Mandy a shout out. She's watching your live right now. Mandy, you're watching us. We're here, baby. Shout out to you. Vincent. <laughs> For real, send the Power Rangers to take care of that fool in the sky. <laughs> that did look like something that the Power Rangers would fight. <laughs> Silver's Bell. This is why I love your videos. Why? What did I do? I don't even know what I did. <laughs> Angel Beauty, shout out to you. Always sit here doing the things. Oh, wait, this is another one from Silver's Bell. First time donating to someone might as well be you. Love your videos. Thank you so much. I'm your first. Ha, <laughs> I win. <laughs> Mr. Rodriguez, thank you, brother, for the $20. Don't know. Oh, wait. Found the first 72 out. Yo, I don't know why, but this thing that she has on her on her face I felt like she had it on there because somebody farted and she was just trying not to smell it I don't know why that was the first thing that came to mind I forget people wear masks and face shields and stuff like that now Whereas after someone goes missing is crucial that's what I swear I thought she was trying to cover up a fart why when it she's like oh you stink I don't want to smell that like you nasty I'm trying to work over here girl went missing in Oak Hill. I did all that and messed up my beard. Darn it, where's my comb? Florida. The sheriff's department took to the streets immediately to find her. Published to YouTube by WESH2 News in February of 2021. This body cam footage shows the very moment that the girl was found. When the girl's grandmother notified authorities after she hadn't returned home after school or attended her basketball game, Sheriff's Deputy Royce James searched from motel to motel to find her. The girl's friend had given him a lead. The missing girl had been planning to meet with someone at a hotel that she'd met online. The body cam footage shows the deputy checking each and every motel in the area. After requesting information from several front desk people, he finally arrives at the right hotel. He knocks on the door of the suspect, claiming he's from the front office. When the 22-year-old suspect opens the door, he's told to back up and go sit on the couch. The room is dark, but soon the girl comes running out from the next room and hugs the officer. He kindly tells wait, her to wait. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. How did they know? Wait, I gotta go back. I gotta hear more of this story again. The girl's friend had given him a lead. The missing girl had been planning to meet with someone at a hotel that she'd met online. Oh. The body cam footage shows the deputy checking each and every motel in the area. Wow. After requesting information from several front desk people, he finally arrives at the right hotel. Wow. He knocks on the door of the suspect. Yo, that's amazing. Yo. So this young girl told one of her friends that she was planning on meeting up with someone that she had met online. So the deputy, a police officer, whatever you want to call him, went around to every hotel in the area and he finally came across the right one. Wow. Claiming he's from the front office. When the 22-year-old suspect opens the door, he's told to back up and go sit on the couch. The room is dark, but soon the girl comes running out from the next room and she was scared. Hugs the officer. He kindly tells her to wait in the bedroom for a moment and questions the suspect after making sure the girl is all right. Backup is on the way. Oh no, she was scared. Di oh no. And Poor when they thing. ask how old the suspect is over the radio, Deputy James replies, too old. The girl had been lured by the suspect over the internet and was charged and taken into custody. Thanks to Deputy James, this girl was found. Get ready for. S oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah, we got 3,200 people in here. Thank y'all for hanging out with us. We're about to get to the next video. It's going to be the last video, y'all. And then your boy got to get up out of here. I know I was late. I do apologize. But uh, today has been a quite eventful day. I'll tell you that. Y'all, this next video and last video is titled Five Scary Videos You Should Not Watch Alone. We're going to check this out. 
and then I'm going to be shouting um, you guys out that are dropping donos as well as everybody on the website copping merchandise that I will be autographing for you all. Let me play this video. Slap him! Why did I say slap him? I meant Sir Spooks. Gosh. See, this is how, this is how out of the, out of the, out of loop I am right now. Anyway! Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at five scary videos to watch if you dare. I do dare. In this video published to Facebook by a man named Mitch Kuhn, we see dash cam footage of him driving late at night or very early in the morning. And for the first few seconds, everything seems to be going perfectly fine. But out of nowhere, this happens. Hey Ashlyn, I was um, shout for for one shout out to Caden, happy birthday boy, or happy early birthday, and yes, I was just talking about Haunted, um, not too long ago. Yeah, it's it's on Netflix, and it's it's pretty good. I've watched one episode so far. Thank you, Tyler. I appreciate it, Bigly. Debbie, whoa. Whoa, that's cap. If that ain't, that don't even match. It don't even fit there. It looked like it was added in later. It looks freaking, it don't look right at all. <laughs> then again, it did have a whole shadow that looked pretty convincing. Darn it, I don't know. The there color, a few the color of it looked kind of like bluish and white all the way through. It's weird. On this video, but all of them are in agreement that whatever was walking across the road is indeed very creepy. Uh, oh One no! Comment... The shadow was so accurate, though, in the way that the shadow kind of went elongated, and it kind of, as the the vehicle passed by it, and the lights was hitting on the the object or the entity or the person, it it, it came back. It, it the shadow did what it was supposed to do, though. That's the weird thing. It points out that this figure has a shadow, meaning that it probably isn't faked or edited. And if it is, the person that did so had to have done a terrific job. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But if this is real, then what is this figure? What was it? Is it a ghost, or is it something else entirely? Let me know what you think in the comments. I don't know. It's hard to make out what it was. I can barely see it. They always say that you're supposed to be extremely quiet while you're in the library. Yo, this is a library? This show looks dope. Well, they like got shelves that are behind these chairs. The chairs look comfortable. They're social distance. <laughs> Yo, this just looks dope. I would love to go to this library just to sit and read. I love reading. So you do not disturb the quiet and bother everybody else around you. But as you will soon see in this video, this particular library didn't really follow its own rules. I bet a book gonna fly off that shelf. I feel like I've seen this part before. Vincent, happy birthday. Wait, my birthday on Sunday. Oh, your birthday's in two days. Happy birthday, brother. Kamika. Miss Hartnett, shout out to you. Thank you so much for the $10 donation. It may have, you think it might have fallen off the truck? I don't know. The library in question is the Safety Harbor Public Library located in Florida. Oh, okay. Florida. The footage, which was... I'll, I'll be there at the end of the month. Again. It's filmed at 5.36 a.m. Creeped out the employees and owners of the library because of what happens during the recording. Ooh, Take what happened? Let me see. I bet it was a book off the shelf. I mean, what else is gonna be? It's a library, it got a bunch of books. I don't remember those chairs though, so this might be a different video. Come on, give me a book. I need a book off of that shelf right there. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. Y'all don't even know what shelf I pointed to. <laughs> the third one. <laughs> I got the right shelf. Hey, look, the land is standing. We probably have seen this before. There's nobody on the other side that might have pushed the book through to kind of 
you know, they had to work late night and do an inventory check, right? You know? So they were like, you know, there's not supposed to be anyone here technically on a regular night. So let me let me push a book and make it push another book off the shelf. And nobody will ever see who did it because I'm not going to walk in front of that camera. I know that camera. I know the angle. I know how it records. <laughs> you know, trying to have a big brain, but, you know. A lot of people in the comments seem to be convinced that this video is indeed real. Although, of course, it is... Thank you, Kim Lee. I'm glad I could do that for you. It's possible that this was faked or nothing more than a loose book finally falling off the shelves. That's also another possibility because... It looks like a lot of loose books on this shelf, or is it just me? Because I feel like I can see the line of the shelf, and like this looks like a lot of loosage right here. And that sucker right there looks extra loose. And whatever this white thing is here looks extra loose. And you see that guy right there? That's a big Lucy right there. There's a couple of them hanging out over here, too. You know, might be a few books that's about ready to fall off this shelf, truth be told. <laughs> But it is also possible that this book flew off the shelf as a result of an unseen otherworldly visitor. Shout out to Samantha and Austin. They done started themselves a YouTube channel. A man on YouTube going by the username Cycle Social is relaxing in a boat and fishing and is trying to enjoy the warm sunny day outside. For a while he's doing exactly that. He seems to have no worries in the world, but that soon changes when he begins to hear something utterly creepy and unexplainable. Take a look and have a listen. Let me see it. Those birds freaked out. Those are some big birds. What the hell is that noise? I mean, that, is that a bridge where you walk on or drive cars on? Yo, what is that noise? Oh, yo, that sounds like somebody's screaming. Yo, somebody's in freaking danger. Or, or it kind of actually sounds like a kid that's very upset. Like, either one or two things happening. His parents just whooped him, or he's not getting his way. It's... I don't know, one of the two. And the boy sound like he might be 12. Going over there. I need to hear whatever the hell is happening over there. Yo, what's with this man's shoes? I asked because I think I might like them. They look like full foot Crocs. Hey, do y'all hear that screaming? You hear that? Something that? I should be like worried about. It straight up sounds like a twelve-year-old boy that's very upset about something. I know y'all probably can't hear it right now. Y'all will have to check out the video link down in the description box below after this live stream. It does sound like a twelve-year-old boy that's very upset. Why do I say twelve? Because. It's not a high pitch and it doesn't sound like a man. It sounds like it sounds like a preteen. Between 10 and 12. Kid is crying now. He's hysterical. Row, row, row. It's like a freaking yo yeah bro you might need to go up in there and check that out now I now it sound like it's coming from here it sound like it's coming from this hole sewage hole probably what that is I don't know what that is if it is then that's disgusting I wouldn't want to be in that water whatever that is it might be a kid in there Dude. my day is about to be ruined I know that's right. Oh my God, I know that's right. <laughs> he said, huh? I think my day is about to be ruined. <laughs> He's like, freak. 
I'm about to go check this out. I I might I might be putting myself in a real dangerous situation right now. Um, Stacy, it is Art of Kicks with a Z. Make sure you put a Z on that thing. It's Art of Kicks with a Z. You know, dollar sign Art of Kicks with a Z. I'm Art of Kicks with a Z everywhere, big baby. Yo, go get that kid, man. Please, like he sounds like. He sounds like he's in danger. I don't know. He maybe he's just stuck in there. Yo, I'm. S Yo, take that paddle with you so you can have a weapon. You better have that paddle, bro. You better have that paddle. Take the paddle, bro. Are you okay? What? I, does he sound okay? Take the paddle, fool. The fool is not okay. I promise you. Whoever that is, they're not okay. Did they stop? The man proceeds to row the boat somewhat where he thinks the source of the sound was coming from. But strangely, he's unable to find anything whatsoever. Eventually, he calls the police, but when they arrive, they are unable to find anything or anybody in the vicinity that was screaming. Interestingly, one commenter says that at one point it sounds like the woman is saying, They're killing me, in Spanish. If this was genuinely a woman in danger, we can only hope that she got the help she so desperately needed before it was too late. I was gonna say that too. If it's not a 12 year old boy, then it could have been a woman. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like they should have went up in there, in that hole, and find out if there was somebody in there or not. Did the did the police do that? Yeah, we got over thirty three hundred people up in here. Big bait, bird. Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill is back at it again. And oh man, look, Chris is a fool, man. I. After that last video, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about him. This time, he's exploring an old abandoned school called the Central Academy, which is said to be quite haunted. But of course, seeing as how Chris has done this type of thing before, he decides to go in and have a look to see if there's anything of interest. Just two minutes into the investigation, while nearing the school's locker room, something very chilling happens that Chris doesn't seem to notice. Footage is crispy. That's what we like. We can make out stuff when it's crispy like this. Come on now, baby. Get your camera game up, peoples. Oh, we've seen this before. Yeah, we've seen this before. A little while later. Nah. Nah. If, when I go on my ghost hunt, what weapon am I going to bring with me? I need to bring a club, maybe. I think a club would be a good one. Hit first, ask questions later. That's my motto. While exploring a dark and dreary hallway, something very similar happens that is equally terrifying. What? Right there. I remember. Oh, yep. It moved again. That thing moved like lightning, bro. It was so fast. Y'all saw that? Watch again. Phew. Even in slow-mo, it still moved faster than me. Phew. Look. At this point in the... If he did edit that in, then wow. That was fantastic. Investigation. Chris hasn't noticed anything happening whatsoever, but is continuing to look around nonetheless. You Just might you look in the room to the right, cause might be something there. As he nears his final minutes of investigating, he experiences a few more chilling things before he can exit. Listen to this. Oh, I 
remember this. Y'all remember this? Do y'all remember this? I think we saw this in the last live stream. That was a funny live stream. I'm not even going to play this part because that was that was a classic. That was a classic live stream. That's going to go in my compilation video. <laughs> we got to go to the next video. Y'all can watch the link down in the description box below if you want to see the rest of this clip. You may remember a while ago on the channel I featured a chilling video on TikTok by the user Dino Nugget 741 and now it seems as if he is back with yet another terrifying piece of footage to show the world. Let me see it. The uploader says he has a haunted basement and is going downstairs. Wait, 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 wait. What's that stuff called? Sage, I think it is. Is it? The little thing? And you burn it? And it smells good? And it's supposed to ward off spirits. Is that what it's called? I have some. A bunch of you guys sent me some. I just haven't used it yet because I'm very sensitive to smoke. It makes me makes me can't breathe. To investigate. Probably because he may have just heard some sort of noise coming from within it. Prompting his curiosity to get the better of him. What up, Rayvon? I ain't seen you in a minute. Good to see you in here. Appreciate the donation and welcome back to the live stream. Big big bear. Hey, wait, what happened? When he goes to look a little bit further into the situation, he stumbles upon something horrifying. Oh, what? Oh! Y'all see that? I see it in a little image right there. You need to throw that whole thing at it. Just throw the whole thing at it. I'm not afraid, man. I am. Throw it. Throw it. It's right there. Throw it at it. Throw it at it. It, it moved. Go down there. You better hurry up. Grab it, out, man. Grab that skateboard. Use it to knock it out. Whoever it is. Yes. Where it go? Where is it? Where it go? Wait, I've seen this basement before. I don't remember the sage stuff though. Is that is that what it's called? I don't remember. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? What was that? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. you got locked up. You got to lock your own basement. You a fool. Look, I told you to throw it at it. Well, I don't know why you ain't listen to me. By looking at the enhanced image of the figure on the bottom right corner of the screen, you can tell that this figure is definitely some sort of shadow person or creature lurking inside this basement. Whereas most people would be too scared to investigate after seeing it, this guy proceeds to look around the basement and as you saw, proceeds to get closed in as the door shuts on him while ascending the staircase. I'm stressed out right now. Hopefully this guy doesn't have to deal with more ghosts in the near future. Of course not, because the ghost then took over his house and locked him in his basement. You don't gotta worry about him no more. The ghost was like, huh, I upgraded this suite. <laughs> I just been trying to get you down here first. I had to get you down here so that I can go up there. And that was five scary videos to watch if you dare. We've made it to the end of the live stream, y'all. We get 3,400 people here. Thank you all for hanging out with us this evening. It's a good Friday. It's a good Friday. What my what my friends are up to? It's 11:25. Yeah, still not going out. I'm tired. I think I'm gonna crash. I think I'm gonna crash. But let's get to some of these shout outs. I'm about to go on the website. And shout out everybody that's copying uh, merchandise. Because, yeah, we have made it to the end of the live stream. Again, thank you all so much. Um, but let's start off with some of these other donos. Stacy, whoa, thank you for the generous donation. It says, love your channel so much. This is for equipment. Thank you so much. It definitely will go towards some equipment. Because there's some stuff that I need to get. Um, Ashley M, always up in here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Thanks for making me want to get rollerblades. Get you some. You don't know how much fun I had today. Get you some. That was a, I, I didn't even think I could do it. That was the first time I skated since I was a teenager. And I loved it. I'm going back. I had to order new wheels. They're coming Sunday. I had to get on Amazon. I think they're like 35 bucks. Um, supposedly they're durable, high performance wheels. So I need those I, big time. Can't wait. Hold on. Can my fiance Heidi get a shout out? Shout out to Heidi. What up, Josh? Thank you, brother. Misty always up in here. Big brain. Yes, big brains are up in here always. 
Because we're the big brain family. I'll tell you that right now. David, for uh, don't know from uh, wait for the goat big hey, hey. That's David Gonzalez, y'all. Big big time fan, big time supporter. Appreciate you, JK. Love from Philly. Please re please react to nukes. Yeah, I reacted to nukes last time. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna do another nukes reaction. Um, hopefully Monday. If not Monday, then most certainly Friday. Nice live stream. Making me laugh. Janice, Janice, shout out to you. Thank you so much for the donation. And uh, lots of love, handsome, she says. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Tamara says, having trouble becoming a member. Uh, moderators, help my folks out with that. My people that's trying to become members, let them know what they can do. Appreciate you so much. Kelly, Kelly is always up in here. She's such a sweetheart. Always rocking with your boy. Appreciate you so much. Craig, uh, he says, always a good show. You know, we try to make it a good show. Even when your boy's exhausted from rollerblading for three hours by myself, I had so much fun. Had my J. Cole albums playing, new and old. It was just a good time. Goodness gracious, that was a good time. We don't lost about 400 people up in here. My bad, y'all. I'm just shouting folks out, you know, just talking to my people. So you don't like it. Hey, that's what it is. You can leave. Larry, Larry just came up in here, dropped off a little don't know for us. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you so much. I'm trying to refresh this thing, but it won't let me. I was trying to see if you left a comment. Uh, let's see. What y'all talking about over here? What y'all talking about? Tommy says, love you. A-OK. -okay. Glad I decided to be a member. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. Matthew done became a member. Welcome to the Mafia. Y'all getting that uh, private live stream. I'm going to have to let you guys know because I'm, I'm still um, kind of... And we're live stream on Twitch right now too. By by the way, you guys, I almost forgot about that. Let me let me go over to Twitch and see what these guys are talking about over here. I gotta pull up. Oh man, I thought I had it pulled up. Darn it! I thought I had the Twitch pulled up. Gotta pull it back up right quick for us. I'm, I'm curious to see how many members we got watching from Twitch. Curly sixty four. Probably to see how many members we got watching. From oh well, Twitch. look, they, they they're listening to me repeat myself. Yeah, baby, we in here. Love the COD play. Yeah, y'all gonna get some more COD play coming soon. Yo, even people... Look, wait, what? Yo, people on Twitch is asking for one... Oh, wait, look. Now y'all asking for one more. Y'all must have forgot I said I was tired, tired. I don't even think they heard me. Those in the back, y'all didn't hear me in the back? I said I was tired, tired. Now, like... Okay, um, hold on. Let me, let me see. Let me, let me, let me. Let me see what we can maybe do tonight, you know. Um, let me go over to the... That's not the right video. Let me let me go to the channel right quick. Hold on, Artie Kicks. Dang, this dude almost got a million subscribers. Goodness gracious, that's crazy. That's real crazy. Oh, we got uh, we got 1,600 likes, baby. We got 1,600 likes. How many we need? How many we need for another video? It's Friday. I need 2,500. I need 2,500 likes. That's 900 more likes from my over 2,000 people that are in here that didn't hit the like button already. That's all I asked for. That's all I asked for. It's for y'all to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. That's going to help us get to a million subscribers, even though I am nowhere near ready for these million subscriber festivities. I am going out of town at the end of this month. Don't assume. It's just with some friends. We're going down um, to, to Florida. I don't even know what the heck we doing. I really don't. I just be saying, hey, just take me with y'all. I just need to leave. I just need to get away for a while. I just, wherever y'all go, I just want just take me with you. So, yeah, we're going down there. Um, and then I guess when I get back, I got to start planning for this million subscriber stuff. Uh, I'm stressed out just thinking about it. I'm stressed out. Just the the, the, the overall thing. It's just a lot. It's a lot of that, that I got to do. You know what I'm saying? But I need to get on the website. You guys hit that like button for your bizoy for one more video because y'all are asking for it. We done jumped up on the 200. I appreciate you. I appreciate you very much. I love you guys. But I'm about to shout out some people that are on the website. Copy merchandise. We're waiting for these 2,500 likes to come out of nowhere. You know, maybe some people come up in a live stream. Y'all make sure make sure y'all comment. Spam the comment section right now. Tell everybody to hit the like button. Bamboo, she says one more. Juan says, "Runs running." Wait, hold on. What running shoes um, you taking with you? You go, Ultra Boost, baby. 
I need that extra boost so I can boost my ass up out of there. You know, <laughs> I don't play with these folks. I don't play with these folks. Successful minds. You know, you look, you know who got a successful mind. He's just dropping donations like like crazy. I mean, he must got some money. He got he gotta have some money to do that. I don't ask for these donations, but I most certainly appreciate them when y'all do them. Shout out to y'all. Hold on. We got a, we got Thomas done upgraded his membership. Shout out to you. How you say this name? I know the last name is T. Tana? Twana? Regardless, you done became a channel member, and I appreciate you for that. Y'all, exactly. Let everybody know. They got to hit that mofo like button. Cuss? Hit that like button for your boy. Everybody that's in here that's in the chat needs to be saying that. Spam it, spam it, spam it. Hold on, I gotta get over here. We live, this is a different kind of video. You know, for those that is gonna watch this, hey everybody that's watching the next day or after the live stream, fast forward through this part. It's the boring stuff right here. Um, but nonetheless, my people that are live appreciate it because I'm shouting them out. This is what we doing. We just shouting people out, showing love. That's what it's all about. Y'all show me love, I'm gonna show y'all love too. That's just how we do this thing. It's only right, right? Right. Margaret did a super chat and it never showed up. I had found a way and, and that was um that was our moderator that just sent me that. Let me get go up in here and see. She said it was Margaret. Let me see if I can pull that up. Let's see what Margaret is talking about. Let's see if I can see that. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Scrolling, 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 scrolling for Margaret. Let me see. Can I see Margaret? I've left. Oh wait, that's a different. That's a different day. Let me scroll through. Oh wait, hold on. I think I just saw it. I think I just saw it. Margaret. I'm not sure if that's the same one. It doesn't say anything. There's no. There's no comment or nothing on it. I see a Margaret, but I'm not sure if that's the same one. If there's no comment or nothing. Let me get up in here. Hold on, y'all. I just clicked on the um, website about to see what you guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Miss Sherwood yet again with another order. Shout out to you, Jessica. Jessica Evans. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. Um, Jacob. Jacob B. Up in here. Lucas G. Uh, oh wow, what freaking name is this? That looks Russian. Where are you from? Oh no, you're 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 in America. <laughs> you you're not American. <laughs> you are not American. I, look, I've never seen first and last name. I've never seen those letters together like that. I want to say your name, but I can't. Vlada, Vlad, Vlad. This look, look. I'm not. I'm not. My name is horrible. That's why I don't even tell nobody my name because folks be butchering it, and I butcher it. I, I look. It's just complicated. You know what I'm saying? Jennifer R. Shout out to you, Danielle. <laughs> shout out to you, Elizabeth. Shout out to you. Um, hold on. Who is this? McRobert, hold on, what'd you cop? Like a pullover. Huh? I, oh, no, no, you cop two tank tops. A AOK fit and a Karen tie-dye in the blue. Yo, these blue, blue ones are crispy, man. I got on the color, the multicolor one, but the blue ones are, I don't know, they hit me different. Hold on, I lost my place. Where was I? Mandy? Oh, we got two robbers back to back. Mandy, shout out to you. Tyler, shout out to you. Tamara, hold on, is this the same Tamara that's been up? Nope, this is a different Tamara. Shout out to you, Tamara. Amanda, shout out to you. Thank you so much. Amanda K., Nope, not me. T-shirt in a in exclusive blue. I think there's only like five of those left. Well, not anymore because Tamara. No, Amanda just caught one. Uh, Christopher Hernandez always up in here, everywhere, with his fifth order. You done cop the two K shirt. Shout out to you. Hold on, who is this? This is another Christopher. Christopher P. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. Um, Miss Shingles done cop. I bet that's uh. Is that what I think it is? Two face masks, yep, shout out to you. Them face masks are almost gone, too. I think the only ones available 
are the kid size, which some adults can wear if you got a small head. Not me. I got a big one that's sitting on top of this neck right here. Jennifer, <laughs> shout out to you. Miss Karen. Nah, what was that? I was about to shout out a Karen and something just moved over here. What was that? Nah, I was just playing. Miss Karen White, I love you. Seriously. Something moved. Was it the ice that shifted in this bottle? Nah, I swear it came from that box over there. That box jumped really hard. My mind might be trip playing tricks on me. <laughs> Shout out to Karen White. She done cop the Karen shirt and a That's Cap cap. I told y'all the That's Caps are black. They're black. They're back in black is what I meant to say. Y'all, we almost there. Are we getting closer to that 2,500 likes on this live stream? It's probably going to get up to about 4,000. Uh, when this video actually goes live, but we need it right now. We need that boost so we can get to that 4,000 likes. Uh, Candace, Candace Owen, isn't there a celebrity by that name? Shout out to you, regardless. Thank you so much, uh, Jennifer C. Shout out to you. That's Clement uh, Vincent. I saw you up in the um, in the chat too, I believe. Shout out to you, done cop two tank tops. Yo, them ghosts are real tank tops are windling down big time. Then, um, nope, not me as well. I may not restock any of that stuff, you guys. I'm trying to get this merchandise out of my house. I don't got that big of a place to be storing all this stuff all the time. Y'all are killing me. But I love you guys. I'm going to autograph all this stuff for you, too. Best believe. I might not be... Hold on. Let me get back over here to see what the stream is looking like because I can't see none of that. All right. We in here. Hold on. Lucas, love the content. Keep killing it. Thank you so much. John says, go to... Sally House. Whoa, wait, where's this at? A very documented haunted house. You gotta send me some information on that, brother. Send me some more information because um it's gonna disappear in this in this stream. That does sound fascinating, I'm not gonna lie. It might sound it sounds whoa. Sounds like a decent enough destination spot for something haunted. <laughs> anyway. I'm being corny right now. <laughs> Hold on, where am I? I gotta go back to the channel so I can see what the freak going on. Come on, come on, Jerter. Y'all, we had 2,100 likes, 400 more. Perfect. Plenty of time for me to continue these shout outs because I promised you guys I was gonna do it. And I'm a man of my heart. I am. At least I try to be. Can't do it every time, but hey. 99% of the time is decent enough, I guess. More like 90. Anyway, where was I? Amanda, Amanda P. I don't think I shouted you out. Amanda P, shout out to you. Christina W, shout out to you. Thank you so much for copying something on the website. Natalie B, thank you so much. Lance, Lance H, is this the same? Yep, that's the same Lance I was thinking about. Shout out to you. I see you with the two Karen shirts. That's what's up. One t-shirt, one tank top. Keeping it fresh. I like it. Yo, I love, love these new Karen ones. I freaking love these so much. They're so dope. Yo, people are copying them Karen shirts like crazy. The black and white ones, the regular T-shirts. Yo, this this person right here, who is this? Amber. She copped two of them and the tank top. The one I cop, you know, the one I got on right now. Who is this? That's Gary. Shout out to you, Gary P. Timothy M. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. Oh, you copped the beer products and a nope, not me shirt. Yeah, I don't think I think them nope not me shirts sure gonna be gone by tonight. The exclusive blue ones, they probably they're, they're, they're gonna be out. They're gonna be out. <laughs> Ooh, hold on, who is this? Oh, T Tanisha, Tanisha J, shout out to you. She copped the pullover, two tank tops, and the high Karen cap. Hi Karen. Hold on, last name Austin, G Austin. I can't pronounce your first name because I can't read <laughs> very well. Go root. Wait, Garius. I think I might have got it. i never seen that name before. Sean. Sean C. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. Stephen King. Wait, hold on. Are you? Are you the GOAT, Steve? Nah. <laughs> Maybe. Wait, we, we might got some celebrities in here watching this. You never know. Josh L. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. Jessica, I see you up in here. Thank you so much. Um, was it Jessica that double cop today? I got to find that. I got to find that. Vince B. I'm shout out ones that happened before the live stream, you guys. I'm shouting out some of those people, too. Yeah, we're almost done with the shout outs right here. Emily L. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. Jacob. Y'all, people be... Look, whenever I drop this new stuff, it flies, man. 
especially I go out and about and I'm always wearing the merchandise and stuff and people always saying, yo, I love the shirt. Like, where'd you get that? Artykicks.com. You can get it from this guy right here. Shout out to you. I even have friends from high school that were looking at um, my merch on Instagram yesterday. They were like, yo, when is that tie-dye one drop? I want that. I'm like, yo, they're available right now. Artykicks.com. We still got 2,800 people. We done lost about 600 people while I'm doing these shout outs. But it's all good. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? The, the real ones stay. The big brain people, they still in here. Some of the big brain people left, but that's okay. They'll be back. They, they're just waiting for the next video to come up. They know, they know what I do. They're like, yo, I'm going to come back in like 10 minutes after he stop all that bull. <laughs> so they'll be back. They'll be back. Watch. I bet it'll get back up to at least 3,000 um, for this next video. Jackie, run. First time live. Glad I made it from Nebraska. Yeah, we in here, big baby. Shout out to you. Lawrence, even the ALK can't stay. Got to work. Love the videos. Thank you so much. Get back to work, brother. I'm in here working right now. Yo, Candace, oh, yeah, nah. <laughs> Candace, you're a fool. You're talking about I'm not her. She spelled her name with an A. You know who I'm talking about there. You know who I'm talking about. Shout out to you, though. Thank you so much. XJ, you should make one. Uh, you know what? That was. <laughs> that would be a good merch idea. See, this is what happens, you guys. This is this is why I can't, I can't, man. I can't. You guys be doing this to me. You say you should make a one more T-shirt. I probably should. Truth be told, because you all, you guys are always talking about one more video. I like yo. Can I can I go to sleep one more time? <laughs> Hey, I might be at um Atuku. Wait, what? Where? But I'm glad there's another paranormal believer. Yeah, of course, of course I believe. I wouldn't have shirts that say "Ghosts are real" if I didn't. <laughs> of course I believe. You're the goat, LK okay. John. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Smash that like button. Listen to Ashlyn. She knows better. She knows better. Andrea K. I'm excited to get my big brain cap. Shout out to you. I've been seeing you in the chat for the longest. Even before I had uh, members, memberships. Wait, I'm thirsty. That skating wore me out. I am. Oh, look, another bottle I can add to this water. I am thirsty. There's ice in this. That's why I need to add this. Got to be very steady. Don't want to spill any. you guys are doing over here what's this what's this about hold on give, give me a second yo shout out to karen white yes yet again she done came here she said you're amazing thank you so much tamara same tamara no not me you in here baby wait hold on was there somebody else Thanks for two lives. Yeah, two live streams today. I got two live streams from your boy today. That was Christopher Hernandez. Larry James, shout out to you. Thank you so much for the dono. Love your videos. I always miss your live streams, though. Ha <laughs> ha. No, you didn't miss this one. And thank you for the $100 donation. That's crazy. We in here, baby. You didn't miss this one. All right, feeling better now. Got got a little water in the system. Man, John said, "What if a ghost just slapped the bottom up out of my hand?" Boy, I would have I would have swung so fast. I would have hit something. I would have hit a ghost before the ghost disappeared. You, look, why it would boom got him. He would have he would have that ghost would have got got. Best believe that's what would have happened if a ghost tried to slap a water bottle out of my hand. I don't play that mess. I kick a ghost out. You understand me? I would kick a ghost out. I'm going to grab him by a shirt. I ain't going to see him, but I'm going to feel him. I'm going to be like this. I'm going to straight toss his out the door. Think I won't mess with me in my house. I, ooh, I swear. I don't play that mess. I'm black. <laughs> I'm, and I'm also a fool. Best believe that. Best believe. Shout out to our moderator. Miss Brazil. She done caught two of the Karen um, tank tops and the tie-dye. 
in the blue. Nice. One for herself, one for the husband. Nice. Makes sense. Makes sense. You know I got to autograph those for y'all. Be on the lookout. Wait, what the freak just happened here? Stephanie H. Then came in here, cop something. Tamara. Is this the same Tamara? Wait, let me go check. Nope, that's a different Tamara. But shout out to you. Oh, she copped the orange exclusive. Nope, not me. Do I even have any more? I didn't even know I had any more of those. Golly. Yep, all that stuff almost gone. Look, I'm definitely not restocking that. See, I'll be trying to keep stuff limited too. Like, if you're going to cop some merch, you know, you're one of few people in the world that have my stuff. You understand that? I, I deliberately keep stuff limited. I don't want this stuff to be available for everybody in the world. No. You got to keep limitations on this stuff. I got to come over to my folks on Twitch and see what they're talking about right quick, man. Hey, somebody says he won't read our messages. I just read yours. <laughs> we on Twitch right now. I got to get another one ready for Twitch anyway. <laughs> rip your hand. What's wrong with my hand? Oh, I actually did rip this, though. I freaking was putting clothes in my freaking laundry basket. That was a mess. I don't even want to get into that. She's dumb the dog. She thinks she's the boss of the house. Uh, can't stay look. What folks over here on, on Twitch talking about dogs and stuff? <laughs> We're about to get to the next video. If you're on Twitch, go ahead and go to the YouTube channel real quick and hit that like button, me, boy, so we can get to this video. Actually, I need to see where we're at. Folks on Twitch are talking about dogs. Why are people talking about dogs on Twitch? Twitch is a different kind of animal. <laughs> Literally. Wait, where's this thing at? I'm trying to pull it up. Oh, I clicked off of it. My bad. Hold on. Yeah, we about to get to this next video. Let me go ahead and refresh this so we can see where we at. I see 2200. We're still at 2200. You know what? Screw y'all. I'm going to go ahead and just play this next video. Because I'm trying to get out of here and take my butt to sleep. Y'all, this next video is scary videos that will not, that you will not forget. I don't like that. I don't, I don't like the name of that title. I don't want to not forget something scary. I'm one of those type of people that whatever the last thing that I watched or consume is what I dream about. So this might not be the best idea, but uh, we're going to watch it anyway. Y'all ready? I'm not. Let's go. Guys, today we want to take a look at some mysterious events together that you have sent in from all around the globe. Let's buckle up and stay frosty. The following video was sent to me by Gammy Bear and he found it in the paranormal section of Reddit. The clip was posted by user Lucky1196. He wrote that it was recorded by an older brother who was visiting a theme park with his younger one. Our cameraman was filming the experience for their family diary and to show friends how fun this evening shaped out to be for the two. However, without the two noticing, something seems to have made it onto this recording that should not have been there. As we can see, there are several passengers along for the ride, but the very last card is definitely empty. Now, let's take a good look. I can't make out what the heck that was. If anything. Oh yeah, there's somebody back there. I there's definitely somebody in that last cart. It was it he, he's wearing all black. He's he, he's just a passenger. He's just social distancing himself from that family up ahead. Cause they don't have on face mask. After a few moments, a dark figure appears to be visible in that last cart. Shout out to Rayvon. You in here, baby. Thank you for the $100 donation. Appreciate you so much. But how is that possible? People say that there are many legends about the land this theme park was built on. Nah, oh, man. Like... 
when people was getting on a ride, you know, maybe they just could choose where they wanted to sit. It wasn't a whole lot of people getting on this ride. I haven't been on a roller coaster in so long. I'm scared to get on another one. And that it might be. Yeah, I know it did look like it might have been empty in the first clip, but at the same time, um, it, it, that person could have just been laying down. They might have, as soon as they got in there, they dropped their wallet on the floor. They're like, oh crap, let me pick my wallet up. Spirit that was coming along for the ride. It took them a minute to find it. Wait, could this be possible? Thank you, Zach. How else are we explaining this? This figure seems to be gone again after the first lap, only to reappear moments later. I'm telling you, maybe that person was crouched down for a minute. Little boy didn't see him back there. He's straight up looking back there. He didn't see him be like, hey, there was nobody back there before. A paranormal incident, perhaps. Perhaps. Maybe. The next video was recorded and shared by the channel Cryptic, Cryptic World. World. He was out for a hunt. Hey, I see some people back there, or a person at least. There's somebody standing behind that tree. And this fool may or may not know who they are. I don't go in woods by myself. So if I were to bring a friend with me and we wanted to play a prank on the world, I would tell them to go stand far off in the distance behind a tree so far that we can't make out who you are. That would scare people. Tink trip that day, but it seemed to have shaped into a really unusual afternoon. After scouting out the forest for a little bit, he can spot a creature that he hadn't seen before. His video description reads, When I reviewed my footage as I started the video, I had him on camera and didn't even realize it at first because I was looking off in the distance and not looking at my camera. Wow. The man captures a stream. Y'all don't forget we're, we're streaming on Twitch as well and the video is probably a lot clearer over there. Each dark figure, but what exactly was it? Encounter last time it was right here behind that tree is where he kept poking out before. Oh really? Okay. I keep hearing these sounds. Also, guys, another thing I need to point out. Um, I don't look at my camera all the time. I look off in the distance because it does help me. The way I'm. Whoa, whoa, guys! Right there, right there, guys. What the? And it moved. It moved. He walked through this stretch of the woods. Before. It didn't only move, it went behind a tree. It looked like it might be a female. It kind of, I don't know, maybe the maybe the person is like poked out from behind a tree like this, but it almost seemed as though they're just facing this way too, like this. Like this, and did they go back like that? If that's the case, then those aren't shoulders, those are boobs. Could be wrong it could be like this forehand and he's pretty certain that no other human person was around at the time and why would anybody hide behind a tree in his opinion this was a sasquatch like creature that's a short sasquatch that was a mini that was a mini squatch that was little foot instead of big foot of course we can't say if this was a legit capture of his or if it was just a skit but it's a pretty interesting recording User Biberhole69 has shared the following in the paranormal section. I caught a hand on my infant daughter who was sleeping at the time. It was captured in 2017. I remember when I went into the room, nothing was actually there that I could see. Apparently he thinks that something otherworldly has put their hand on their toddler that night. Better not be nobody putting no hands on no babies. What are they talking about? I don't know that. If we I, take that could be anything. A closer look. It also seems like whatever is touching the blanket here also has a long and spindly arm. Some commentators speculate that this could be of demonic nature. Is that possible? Maybe. He clearly states that they never saw anything unusual on camera until that night. 
So understandably, they were a bit uneasy. What do you think happened here? Is it just a reflection from a window, perhaps? Or something paranormal? I don't know if it's a reflection from the window, and I don't know if I would run straight to paranormal either. You could, It's just an impression. It's a blanket. The blankets can fold in certain ways to make it look like something that is not. But at the same time, you can barely see anything. You got to have good eyes to be able to even see that this is a thing. I can see it. My eyes aren't that great, especially my left. Found that out yesterday. The following clip was recorded by a home surveillance camera in a family home. It is, is that a rabbit? It's not the very best quality for sure, but what's unfolding on the material is quite interesting. It was stated that the home this camera is situated in has seen several weird events occur over the years. From shadow sightings to furniture being moved, there has been a lot of really bone chilling activity. But not only right, that looks like it's moving, maybe it's a cat, a white cat. The residents of this place came face to face with the paranormal. Even the family pets seem to have had run ins with some of these entities. This surveillance video will show us the cat, which notices that something really weird is happening behind the sofa. Some say it appears to be a giant orb, however, the shape seems to morph in size. That is a cat! Which makes it really hard to say what's actually going on here. But since the cat also notices it, we can be very certain that something else was going on here and that it wasn't simple. He can see that. The cat can see whatever that is. Just a bug on the lens. Wouldn't you agree? This video was recorded by a channel called Monsterfish5000. He states that the clip was passed to him by an outside source, by a man who was out one night to smoke a cigarette. When he heard some pretty unusual noises stemming from the distance, Monsterfish also states, This real goblin-like humanoid creature was captured under a rural street lamp near Pitcher, Oklahoma. It is very similar, if not the same, as the creature I filmed near the river in Ripley, Oklahoma. The critique. I'm not sure what you're talking about, bro. Oh, we've seen this clip before. It is it is interesting that this thing has such a a prominent white head and it's shaped oddly or maybe it's like protruding weird almost as if it's a, I don't know, it might be a mask because it doesn't sit right. I don't know, man. Kind of like Lord Voldemort, 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 Voldemort the guy from Harry Potter. Oh, wait, there it go. Now it's clear. That looks dope. He just like, he's just got his head up like this. I wonder. Because we've seen this before. I'm over here jumping to conclusions like, yo, they were on a set of a movie or a TV show and they were filming and they just decided, hey, let's make a little quick video with a cell phone or something. You know, this this outfit, this mask, this costume looks really dope. Let's just go out here. Hey, you see that light post? Just, just go look up at it, you know, like you're waiting for somebody or something to come. And I'm going to record you from a distance. Let's, let's, let's have a little fun with this um, movie makeup before you have to take it all off. It looks so dope, though. Got pointy ears. They kind of... Yo, that was... Oh, that was so dope. We 
can see a figure in a dark robe with a pale face and pretty pointy ears. It looks at the camera only seconds before the man makes it out of there in fear. That was this so of dope. course could merely be a mask of some sorts. If not, he might really have captured a really strange creature that night. A, a freaking humanoid, man. Aliens. Aliens might be on our planet. Interesting. I was watching something. I was watching something recently. I think... I, th I think it had to do with somebody that actually was in the military army or something. It was a story that was supposedly real. And they said that, obviously, they said the aliens are real or whatever. They said that this person was very upset at what they discovered when it came to aliens. It was like at that time they had three different they had three different encounters with three different types of aliens, and one of the aliens looked exactly like us, and it disturbed them so much because it's like okay, the that alien looked so much like us that they just they're amongst us they're walking amongst us <laughs> and it was like you know that that's amazing i didn't even really think about that i thought about it but not you don't hear about it but that's crazy to think the following was shared by a user who was concerned that a friend's doorbell camera might have captured something otherworldly that night. He states that it was captured around 3 a.m. on December the 5th, and that there was no road in close proximity that could have caused any kind of light reflection. Oh, I remember this clip. It just looked like it was a, it looked like it was part of the rim of that car first. Now it kind of looks like one of those balloons that you get at the dollar store that's kind of like aluminum foilish kind of like a balloon. It's real thin though. You know when it, after it deflates a little bit and it just kind of like <laughs> it doesn't go high it just kind of it's at eye level and it just can kind of move around the room <laughs> that's kind of how that looks man that was something but what the freak was it that is something what is that? What do we think about this one? Just the light shining from somewhere? That don't, look, that don't look like no light. That ain't do light. Not. What do y'all think that is? Now we want to look at a couple of recordings. Exactly. My shirt is like a green screen. That's what I was saying too. Yellow headed hunter dude. <laughs> I have my damn... <laughs> Ah, turn the lap off. What I tell you, you supposed to be watching this in the dark. It was shared by security guard Spooky App. He's working in a very old warehouse. For several months, he's documenting strange paranormal activity that is unfolding on the whole premises. Yeah, we almost got 2,900 people back up in here. He also talks about the story of a young boy who apparently drowned close to this area in the 50s and that it is believed that his spirit is haunting this area for whatever reason. Right. Why? Place. What connection would this young boy have with this facility? Doc. If it drowned, but not in this, I don't get it. I mean, any spooky activity going on? I don't really know what's been happening lately. But... The following are several videos that Spooky could record during his night shift, and it is believed that he indeed came eye to eye with that thing on several occasions. Legend goes that back in the 50s, there was a boy named Johnny here that drowned before this building was constructed. There was a boy named Bill, wait, Johnny or Billy? That drowned before the building was constructed, huh? Where did he drown? That's a building. That's not. Johnny? That's not a bottle of water. He called out Johnny's name. I, look, you, you will never hear me call out an entity, an entity's name. Johnny, if you're here, make a sound or show me that you're here. What 
there you go. That, you, you see, you asked for it, and you got it. Now what you gonna do? What you gonna do now, boy? Oh, wait. Is that wetness? Water? Yep. Oh, snap! Why would Johnny be wearing a wetsuit? Oh. He was slow. How, he had to see all of Johnny in order to <laughs> react. He captured something in the darkness here. But what was it? He was really spooked and didn't return to his workplace for the longest time. Until he returned and... What is that? Hmm. Is this a boy in a costume? Or is this some type of mannequin they have that's just blacked out like this? A few weeks after that. With no face. He posted the following. What's going on, guys? Making a video. Made a half moment. This man might have been bored and just set up this whole thing and made it look really dope. Got the water, like footprints on the floor. Could be real. Yo! Hello? 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 Yo, that place is huge. Hello? I heard that? Yeah, I heard that, right? I know I heard that. These doors can't be opened from the outside. Um. Yeah, let me check this door right here. This is clearly locked. See? Now, the following video of his is really interesting. After checking one of the emergency exits, there is a loud noise coming from the top of the stairs. And it was at that point that he might have captured something really terrifying. What? I'm the only one here today. Are you? Don't see anybody down there. Okay. Alright, so... It's, uh... Been a little quiet. What the... What was that? You're not the only one there, bro. I promise you. Oh! Spooky believes it to be the spirit of the boy that is said to roam the building. Could this be? It certainly looks like a little boy. What's your opinion? Are we witnessing a real haunting here? Or was it something else? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Nah, I don't like kids no more. I don't even like. I don't even like kids no more. I don't even want no more. I swear, if, one, if, if my child ever sneak up on me like that, no, no, no. Uh, uh, nope. Boy, why was the child so black? The child was blacked out. See, look. That was that. Hey, wait, hold on. What happened to him before? That don't make any sense. How come he saw him twice and and it clipped off? It clipped away after the first time. What happened that time? I'm confused. Why did that happen? I am so confused. When the boy first appeared... And the puddles of water that trailed to him and the dude saw him and the clip cut. What happened that time? I'm confused. He didn't even mention him again. Or at all. Leading up to this time. I'm lost. I'm just lost. We got um, 2,900 people in here. Shout out to y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, Carissa, my son Oliver, stayed up to see a live stream with me. I can't wait for your new uh, Blue Care Tank Top to come in. Thank you for all that you do. I hope you're having a wonderful night. Thank you so much. I am having a pretty good night. I appreciate you so much. What I wanted to know is how can you watch this and sleep at night? <laughs> look, look. I'm definitely not about to watch that haunted show on Netflix tonight before I go to sleep. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> All right. We got a few more shout outs to do. 
And then I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Thank y'all for hanging out. And for everybody that's waiting for your shout outs, just hang out a little bit. I'm about to do those now. Again, you guys, like I said, next week I'm going to do a members only live stream um, so that I can pay you guys a little bit more closer attention. It's hard, man. You, it, you got thousands of people in here. I can't, I can't, I can't possibly check out every single comment and um, keep you guys all entertained at the same time and get to the content at hand. But thank you guys for understanding. Y'all are simply amazing. But I'm going back to the website. Got about five or six more people to shout out. And then we are out of here. Steven or Stefan. Shout out to you. Carissa, I just saw you. Shout out to you. Is you the one that just ordered that tank top? I think it was. Yep, the blue one. Yep, that's the one you were talking about. Shout out to you, Tamara. Is this the same Tamara? Hold on. We got a few things. Now I see what you done got here. Nope, not me. Karen tank top and a beanie. Y'all, the beanies are almost out of stock. I think there might be five left if people didn't cop them all in this in this um tonight. Felicia, shout out to you. She cop two tank tops and a Karen cap. Kept it all, Karen. I see you. That's fresh. Christina, Christina H, shout out to you. I bet this is a pullover. Nope, got two tank tops. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much for the support. And Thomas V. Thomas Vaughn, like King Vaughn. Wait, hold on. Thomas, where are you, bro? Oh, can Canada. I got a bunch of uh, Canadian supporters. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. And hold on. This is another Tamara. Hey, is this the same Tamara? I think Tamara got a few orders here. That's what it is, baby. That's what it is. And Stephanie, Stephanie H, if I didn't shout you out already, I'm shouting you out now. Hold on. Let me make sure I didn't have any other ones here. Bear with me just a moment. Refresh, refresh, refresh. We got George. George M. First time here. No cap. One more, my boy. I gave you that one more. That was the last video. Um, yeah, he, he sent that before we clicked on that last video. But shout out to him. Shout out to you guys. We're in here, baby. Y'all, I'm about to get up out of here. It's been a pleasure. I thank you all for hanging out. Wait, is this cool? Is this Monique? She, she's like, hey, look. Just, just supporting the channel that's all it is shout out to you again i don't know how you do it sweetheart but you do it and we appreciate you so much what up caught up on the live again winning <laughs> yes you did baby girl yes you did but we are coming to an end y'all i'm exhausted i went skating today i'm gonna do it again on sunday when my new wheels get in here but uh yeah y'all know what time it is you like this reaction hit that like button hit that subscribe button stay tuned for more as always, the link to the original will be down in the description box below if you haven't already. Make sure you follow your boy on the gram and Twitter and Twitch. All that good stuff. Artie Kicks. But I want to go over to Twitch real quick before we get all the way up out of here. Truth be told. Let me go over to Twitch see what them folks over there talking about. Wait, where the frick did Twitch go? Hold on. Twitch, let me Twitch. Let me mute this real quick. Let me see if we still got any Twitch people in here watching this right quick. How y'all doing, Twitch peoples? Y'all about to get some gaming content for your boy soon. Yes, y'all are. Yes, y'all are. Um, S, S, S Megas. Look, Twitch names are weird. <laughs> says, thanks for the entertainment. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. Shadow Kings. Chris says, good night, AOK -OK Mafia fams. Good night, Chris. What? Are, yeah, good night, Chris. Sweet World AOK. -OK. God Luminati. I like that name. God Luminati. That's different. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. Uh, good night, AOK. -OK. That's uh, Mr. J with the J with the nine. Look, I can't. I'm. A, that's how I'm gonna get better at reading, trying to figure out these Twitch names. But anyway, I'm gonna catch you guys later. <laughs> See ya. Whew. This was a eventful night and a stressful one. Oh Lord, I need a back massage and a neck right there. Hit me right there. Uh.